Tottenham has finally made Antonio Conte's exit as head coach official, ending his tumultuous 16-month tenure, following his now-famous verbal assault against his players during the 33 draw at Southampton. Mail in Line reported on Tuesday that Chairman Daniel Levy was getting ready to fire the Italian, and while the club labeled his departure as mutual, it was confirmed just before 10.30 p.m. on Sunday. No, two for Conte Ryan Mason will become his assistant, and Christian Stellini will serve as the team's interim head coach. On Tuesday, when players returned from international duty, the Italian was scheduled to return to the club's training facility. But after last weekend's outburst in public, the possibility of a potentially tense reunion with his players has now been avoided. After the game against Southampton, the Italian attacked his players in a series of fiery post-match interviews, questioning their motivation and attitude. The board was concerned about how the outburst affected the team's morale. After a 33 tie at St. Mary's, Conte yelled, they are used to it here. They play for no significant reason. They do not wish to perform under duress. They prefer not to perform under pressure. It makes it simple. The tale of Tottenham is this. I mentioned I would like to see the fire, but I have yet to. I wanted to see the fervor in their hearts and eyes. I want to see the proper attitude, not just during practice but also when playing because this is where you create a difference. I have tried to conceal the situation until now, but 10 games remain and some people believe we can fight. Battle for what? With this dedication, attitude, and spirit. What? For the 7th, 8th, or 10th spot. The outburst infuriated the player. Pierre Emile Hybjerg of taught and emerged Conte to elaborate after accusing the players of acting unprofessionally. But he has to expound on how he feels before you as a player can start assessing and weighing, the Dane said. I realize that if you want to be successful as a team, you need 11 men devoted to a project and a culture, the Dane said. Conte spent the international break returning to his native Italy amid rumors of his impending dismissal. However, returning home was common for the former Chelsea manager, who frequently travels to Italy when a void occurs in the team's training program. Conte had to make a difficult choice about returning to work, knowing that he was essentially on borrowed time because he was supposed to return to the club's Enfield headquarters this week. Sources on Sunday indicated that the difficulty of those discussions was the cause of the delay in the departure of the former Chelsea manager. Tottenham and Conte have been negotiating the compensation package since the middle of last week. Conte is entitled to around £4 million in compensation, ignoring the money owing to his staff, because the Italian has just three months left on his current contract, which is worth £15 million annually. Spurs could extend Coney's contract by an additional 12 months, but many believe that the extension clause exempts them from paying their current head coach anything. The club's sole goal is to qualify for the Champions League the following season. Levy initially refrained from taking any action that may negatively affect their prospects of finishing in the top four. But now that Coney's presence is adversely impacting team morale, a problem that the board is aware of, there are real worries in the background. Well-placed sources reported that the club was committed to keeping Conte till the end of the season despite their recent weak Champions League defeat to AC Milan. But since Coney's devastating attack at St. Mary's, there has been a sense that he would leave before the summer as Levy works to keep the team's top four aspirations alive. While announcing Coney's dismissal, Chairman Levy noted, We have a fight on our hands for a Champions League berth. We have 10 Premier League games left. We must all work together. Everyone must secure the best outcome for our club and outstanding, devoted supporters. The club anticipated Coney's departure at the end of the season, regardless of the team's performance. As a result, they started working on finding his long-term replacement a few weeks ago. Spurs are interested in speaking with Julian Nagelsmann, who recently left Bayern Munich, on the opening as he is one of the managers they are considering. With his prior success with Tottenham, Mauricio Pochetti knows return to the club would thrill a sizable portion of the fan base. Although rumors of opposition to his return exist, 
many believe that Levy is still close to the Argentine. Luis Enrique, Roberto Zerbi, Marco Silva, Steve Cooper, Thomas Frank, Sergio Concicao, Oliver Glasner, and Ange post Ecoglu are some of the other choices. Bayern Munich removed Nagelsmann from their list of potential candidates, although Thomas Tuchel is another option. Personal tragedy and Poe health derailed Coney's attempts to complete his first season with the team. Gian Piero Ventroni, a vital member of his backroom team and a fitness coach, tragically lost unexpectedly in October. In December, a buddy and former Lazio defender named Sinisa Mihailovic died. A month later, another friend, former Juventus and Italy teammate John Luca Violi also passed away. Following a gallbladder operation in February, Cody's health quickly deteriorated, keeping him away from the Spurs bench for six of the ensuing seven matches. However, after his return, he received harsh criticism for Spurs' ultra-defensive formation as they drew zero with AC Milan, then lost 10 on the road in the Champions League round of 16. Even though they defeated Nottingham Forest 31 in their next game, the dropped points at St. Mary's caused a fan outcry. Fans, however, have been incensed by the squad's generally subpar performances and weak exits from all cup competitions, including losses in the fifth round of the FA Cup to championship team Sheffield United and the Champions League to AC Milan.